So today, boys and girls, we are going to be talking about how I finally, yes, I finally got it. We got the big home, boys. We got it. We did it. We were playing Roosevelt on Legendary. I think this was my final Legendary I hadn't completed. Um, so, yeah, that was the thing. So, like, I needed to complete this Legendary to complete all three Legendary missions. And then, you know, if you guys do complete the Legendary missions, you guys get that cool full white suit. This one gives you the shirt and I think the full ivory die. I believe that's the one you get from this one. Now, I want to say um, Roosevelt probably is the harder of the three. I still think that... Um, District Union is probably the easier of all of them. Yeah, yeah. District Union, I would say probably number one easiest. I mean, Capital Building is pretty close behind it. But this one is a little bit tough for the fact that you need to stay in here. And those um, those gunships can definitely take you down, man. Like when they shoot the rockets. and then. But the trick is definitely get into this boat right here. And if you guys can hide in this corner, your skills will actually do a lot of the damage. And I know this is probably like the newer way to do it because if you guys remember, they did patch where you could just hide behind the wall the whole time. Now you can still do the first part of the very end, hiding behind the wall and then just clearing out a lot of the NPCs. But these, um, these, these gunships are not going to come down. They're, they're not gonna come down until you jump over the wall. And as soon as you jump over the wall, it's gonna make everybody jump over. And then your goal is to run in here. And as long as you can hide in the boat, I feel like that's the perfect spot. Our our turrets pretty much did all the damage. And with, there's some scary scary moments because the um, those gunships have those rockets. And once you start you know, getting rid of their armor, getting rid of their health, they do start to shoot those. So you have to be very, very careful. Those things can one-shot you if they hit you directly. So that, especially if you have no armor. So that's just something you guys need to pay attention to. So we had um, a guy who was, we had him run a little bit of a healer once we got into this part right here. And then the rest were just running skill builds and our skills pretty much took care of everything. I think the next scariest moment you guys are gonna see in a little bit is when the big heavy comes and, and that, that, don't, that took out two guys too. So yeah, um, just, just put your turrets at the very top. That's what I was doing. Um, if they fall down, just break it and then redo it. But yeah, just just watch your back. Like you saw, my, my armor went out. Luckily, we had a healer. I was always keeping an eye on the big heavy because the big heavy is something you just have to worry about because if, if he does rush you guys, he can definitely take you guys out. Now, I will tell you one thing is this was matchmaking. So I did end up bringing up one of my clan members. I messaged him because like, like the two other people ended up leaving at the very end of the boss. And for some reason, if you get to this very end, right, and your teammates leave, you cannot match make, which sucks, which I should fix. But yeah, you can't, even if you're outside, die and you wipe. So the only way you can do this is by inviting your friends. So I invited my friends. And if you look right here, this is where I ended up getting the big horn. I wasn't even sure if I should pick it up or just wait. I was going to wait for it. Um, and then I started, getting, I started getting scared. I was like, man, what if we wipe right here and we can't get back over here? So I was like, no, 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 no. We're gonna pick this up before, um, before I lose my chance. So I came over here, I inspected it, and I was like, yes, we got the big horn, my final exotic. And I've been farming for this a lot. I told you guys, I made that video, you guys should be farming for it. I wanna say the last few days, I've been doing a lot of legendaries. I wanna say maybe two legendaries a day. And the main one I was doing was District Union, which a lot of my friends, that's where they got the big horn from. And I ended up doing um, Capital Building right before I did this one. Um, Capital Building, I ended up getting the Ninja Knee Pads because the, ninja, the target of loot was Knee Pads. So I got one exotic already, and then I ended up getting this one. This was my second exotic. But I noticed that the target of loot for this was the rifles. So that probably helped out. So if you ever get one that has the rifles as the target of loot, that's probably going to be your best. And look, here's the heavy. And look how he ends up taking everybody down. This is where... You're gonna see, cause remember he shoots his backpack, shoots out the like that stinger hive, and it will drop you. And ends up dropping one of our members right here. He tries to go get him. He goes down, and then we were just trying to like stay alive, like trying to stay up here. So luckily he didn't rush us right. He went all the way around. But yeah, we had two guys down. I was able to pick them up, and um, we end up completing it. So I was a little bit worried, but we did it with random. So. If you guys are worried about not being able to do it because you don't have anybody to play with, 
when you match make four legendary missions, you usually get some a solid group. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys are doing any legendary missions, as long as you guys have a skill build, you'll fit in perfectly fine. You can complete almost every legendary with just skill builds. For sure, you can complete um, capital building with just skill builds. You can complete this with just skill builds. And the only one that you do have to have some people with a little bit of DPS that is District Union just for the boss. So you can break his back and then you hit those headshots. But skill builds, 100% is the easiest way to complete all of these. And most of you guys should be able to put those builds together. And that way you guys can run through them. I recommend having different types of different skills going. Like maybe if you have four guys, have an assault turret, an assault drone, have maybe explosive damage too, have some seekers, um, maybe even the snipe, sniper um, turret. All of that will definitely help you guys out. And that's going to make the difference between you guys clearing um, these legendaries and not clearing these legendaries. So I didn't have my mic set up because I needed the HDMI pass through. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Um, so if you get the PlayStation 4 um, and you want to use your Astro headset, to be able to hear game chat and and use like the little box, you need to be able, you need to have an HDMI pass through. And it's around like $25 if you get the discount from Astro, or I ended up paying like $40 for it from Best Buy because that's where I could find it. And then that a lot, and the really reason I use it is because I can record, give you guys game sound and give you chat. So I haven't set it up, but I just got it. So hopefully from now on, if you guys see me in game, I'll be able to talk to you like, the two guys right here, I felt kind of bad because I was typing everything to them. I couldn't talk to them, so. Um, but that's how I communicated. I used the in-game keyboard to, to communicate to them. And it worked perfectly fine. Like, we didn't need mics at all. But um, hopefully I can get my mics because I know they, they recognize me and they seem, they were pretty cool. Um, I did say hi to them, but yeah. So if you guys see me in-game and I'm matchmaking, unless I set that HDMI um, pass through up before I continue playing these missions well i might not be able to talk to you but I'll, I'll try to like say hi to you guys in the keyboard but i've been doing matchmaking for legendaries and it's worked it's fast it's easy um so if you guys are looking at doing these legendary well that's it and there we go we completed it i got the final piece the chest piece um the new the little you'll see it in a second it's the the white shirt and then i got the ivory skin so when we head over to warlords in new york I can finally go to my wall, guys, and it just looks so beautiful. I have every single exotic on the wall that's came out from Warlords. So very excited about this. And very, very, very cool. Very cool. Very excited. I'm really excited. And then I'm going to show you a quick glimpse of me carrying the big horn. Too excited. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, nothing but skills out.